Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DanandHero.com on how to add Google Analytics tracking codes on your .NET Nook website. So here we have our .NET Nook website. I'm going to log into the back end. I can do that uh, as either admin or host. Doesn't matter too much. So. I'm going to log in as admin. So some people say that uh, you need to to buy an extra module just to add Google tracking to your website, but you don't. There's a there's a much simpler, much better alternative to do that instead of buying a module just to do that. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using the HTML module and you see here's what we're gonna be doing select from the from the module drop down select HTML which should be select by default put a title let's let's say Google Analytics and you can add to the base to the bottom of the content pane and you can do that in the home page so click add mod to page. So here so if I scroll down here I can see the new text HTML module that I have just added to the home page. And here's what we're gonna be doing next. Let's go to the settings of the Google Analytics module which is just the HTML module, by uh, mousing over the triangle and go to settings. So the module settings, I'm going to click on advanced settings. And we have two fields uh, available to us that uh, we can we could use either of those. There's a header and there's a footer. I'm going to store the Google Analytics tracking code inside the footer of the HTML module. So I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to, and of course I, I'm assuming that uh, you have already your Google Analytics account and you know how to reach the tracking code inside the Google Analytics. So here's my tracking code. I'm just going to select, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to the site and under the footer field, I'm going to just paste and scroll down, click update. Okay, so we have the Google Analytics tracking code installed in our home page, but there are still two things that we need to do. One is that the Google Analytics tracking code, it needs to be placed in all pages of your site so you can track all the different pages and how we can do that. Let's go back to the settings of the uh, HTML module that we just, that we have just added the Google Analytics tracking code. Let's go back to the settings. And now scroll down, click Advanced Settings, and the first option under Advanced Settings is called Display Module on All Pages, and we should check that. And what this will actually do, in addition, uh, in, in combination with Edit to New Pages only, is that it will add this module to all the pages on your website, and you have the option to do that only for for new pages, which is not the case here. The case here is that we want this module in all pages plus all new pages as well. So we can just keep uh, the first option checked to make sure that the tracking code will be installed on each and every page on your website, existing pages and new pages, because then Google will be tracking all the pages on your website. So once that is checked, let's scroll down, click update again. And that's basically it. Now, 
and that's basically it. Now, Google Analytics tracking code will be added to all pages on your website. Now, let's let's have a look. Let's log out. I want to, to sh I want to show you something. So when I log out, I would have hoped uh, that uh, a new uh, content area uh, that's uh, read. So when I log out, I would have expected that Google Analytics module was right here in this space, but there's nothing here. So why is that? So let's go back to the back end to understand why it's not there yet. It's very simple. It's just because the content of the HTML module was not initialized yet. So you have just to do something very simple. Click. You can just mouse over the triangle. Go to Edit Content. And although there won't be any visible content for this module, but we just need to delete what is there inside the text HTML module and save it so the component can so the module can be initialized so let's log out once again and here you go you can see google analytics in your home page but 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 you don't want that you don't want to see google analytics uh, an area that says Google Analytics in your home page because Google Analytics is supposed to be just behind the scenes on your HTML codes and nobody should see such a thing like Google Analytics uh, in your home page. So how can we hide this uh, area and still keep the Google Analytics tracking codes behind the scenes? Very simple. I'm going to show right now. Let's go back, log in again. Let's go to the triangle right beside Google Analytics uh, title and let's go to settings. Scroll down and expand the area that says page settings. Scroll down. Then you just have to do something very simple here. Uncheck allow print so the print option doesn't come up, the print icon and uncheck display container because by unchecking that the title that says Google Analytics will just disappear from the front end. Just click update. I can see it here because I'm logged in as admin but let's have a look at how a regular person will look will see the website. Let's log out. So when I log out, I no longer see anything in this area. So Google Analytics tracking code is here, but of course the, the end user, the person that is browsing your site, won't be able to see, although it's been tracked behind the scenes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is about, okay, so this is how you go about adding Google tracking code to your .NET Look website. Thank you very much for watching this video.